brothers and sisters, strive eagerly for the greatest spiritual gifts, but I shall show you a still more excellent way. If I speak in human and angelic tongues, but do not have love, I am a resounding gong or a clashing cymbal. And if I have the gift of prophecy and comprehend all mysteries and all knowledge, if I have all faith so as to move mountains, but do not have love, I am nothing. Love is patient. Love is kind. It is not jealous. It is not pompous. It is not inflated, and it is not rude. It does not seek its own interests. It is not quick-tempered. It does not brood over injury. It does not rejoice over wrongdoing, but rejoices with the truth. It bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never fails. The word of the Lord. Lauren's ever-present and beautiful smile very quickly became a very important part of our gatherings, small and large. The two of you work so well together. You complement each other in the absolute best way, and I could not imagine anyone better suited for Lauren than you be. anyone more patient to wait on her while she gets ready. <laughs> so cheers to the happy couple. I love you both very much. I knew when I met Lauren, who Aiden felt really strongly about. Before I even met her, I knew this is gonna be my sister. And I don't have a sister, but Lauren is my sister. <laughs> Ta da! <laughs> and she's already my sister! <laughs> She's already my sister. Um, it's not Sunday dinner unless I cry, but like Lauren is the calming presence that everyone says that she is. And she brings, she's the missing part of our family. And it's so wonderful that, I'm serious you guys. It's so wonderful to have you as a part of our family. The moment you meet Lauren, you instantly feel her calm, genuine demeanor. I need, if you know me, <laughs> um, and her love that just fills a room. Ready? Yes. Go. I just want to say I agree with what our mother said that Aiden is the best of us. Um, you know, there's been curtsies, uh, curtsy men on this, in this country for over 350 years. We've probably been in Texas for at least 150 years. And most of us are criers. <laughs> Friends, you have come together into the house of the church so that in the presence of the church's minister and this community, your intention to enter into marriage may be strengthened by the Lord with a sacred seal. And so in the presence of the church, I ask you to state your intentions.
Are you prepared as you follow the path of marriage to love and honor each other as long as you both shall live? I, Aiden, take you, Lauren, to be my wife. I, Lauren, take you, Aiden, to be my husband. I promise to be faithful to you. I promise to be faithful to you. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. To love you and to honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. I told him, you know, lock it down because I've known Lauren and Aiden separately for a very, for a very, very long time. And uh, I knew how great they both were, but I knew together they'd be even better. In finishing, Aiden, Lauren, you both come from incredibly loving, caring families parents who have been married for over 35 years. Uh, grandparents, obviously, much longer than that. And that is a testament to your life together, your future together, and your marriage. And I want to raise a glass to you guys. Here's y'all. Cheers. <laughs>